Hello fire engineers and welcome back to the fire alarm system training course provided by the platform of fire engineering and with me Mohammed Hamad. Today in lecture 6 we will continue talking about the initiating devices and today for one of the uh, important initiating devices which is the heat detector. The, the heat detector is a fire detector in the end that detects either abnormally high temperature or rate of temperature rise or both. So uh, whenever you have a heat detector, let me to, to say mainly about the spot type. So you will have a two type of heat detector. Firstly, it's a fixed temperature detector that responds only when its sensitive element heated up reaches a predetermined temperature. So if the device likes it on like 58 or whatever other degree, then the device will uh, be responding in case of a fire. The type is the rate of rise detector that a device responds when the temperature rate of rise exceeds a predetermined level, typically around 12 to 15 Fahrenheit degree or 7 to 8 Celsius degree per minute. So the heat detectors are available in a spot type, li linear type or line type heat detector or feasible link heat detector. So whenever you have a fire alarm control system, for panel, you will have um, spot types covering most of the areas as a normal or standard devices. And in some applications, may you can connect as well the line type heat detector to the same panel by using some uh, 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 setting. The, the line type heat detector is a device used for detecting heat in which sensing element is continuous line, okay, along with a certain path, for example, a heat sensitive cable. So uh, the heat detector, is, as we say, is one of the initiating devices that use in case the spaces that have a, a, a chance for to get a very dusty and as well can cause a false alarm. So when to use and where to use the smoke detector or heat detector, usually the normal and the standard procedure is to provide smoke detector. Unless there is a chance for having a dusty or a smoke generated in the room that can cause a false alarm, so then we use a heat detector. The UAE Fire Life Safety Code of Practice, Chapter 8, it has clearly identified which room and applications that we should use a heat detector. These are a list of special rooms or, uh, uh, let me say, auxiliary rooms that we need to know firstly what where we to install a heat detector. So this is referring to the UAE Fire Life Safety Code of a Practice, Chapter 8. Boiler room, yes, there is a chance of smoke generated in the room, then then it's better to install a heat detector to avoid false alarm. Store, it's it's a normal area, living room, normal area. Closed kitchen, absolutely. We need to install a heat detector to avoid false alarm. Generator room as well. There's a chance of smoke there uh, generated from the generator and uh, through the exhaust pipe and it can cause a false alarm. Garbage room, sometime in some cases we need to install a heat detector. Pantry, stairs is a normal, server room is a normal. Public bathrooms, yes, we install heat detector to avoid a false alarm caused by condensation or other like uh, steam or, or uh, let me say due to the water or, or any other reason that can cause a false alarm. Corridor is a normal uh, usage, so we install smoke detector. Food trucks, for sure, there is a cooking inside the food trucks. So we provide heat detector to avoid false alarm. Pump room as well, it's stated that we need to install a heat detector. Finally, is the garage or car parking uh, when it's not protected by sprinklers, then we need to have a heat detector inside the uh, garage or parking. So boilers, uh, uh, closed kitchens, generator, garbage room, pantry, public bathrooms, food trucks, pump room, and garage or car parking. This course is sponsored by Kiwi Gift Store. Kiwi Gift Store is an online gift shop on Instagram. Provide unique gifts as personalized and customized memories in a framed photo collab. Kiwi Gift Store, where every gift tells a story. Place your order. Use discount code of Mohammed20 and benefit from 20% discount for the platform of Fire Engineering followers. In these slides, I listed the applications of each type of heat detector. As a spot type, it's it's a suitable to install in the previous uh, mentioned rooms as well in the line type heat detector uh, like uh, cable spread areas, cooling towers, transformers, road and access tunnels where we cannot install a heat detector so then we go with line type. Warehouse racking as well it's uh, suitable to install line type heat detector as well the cable trays and underground. Fusible link heat detector as well it's um, can be installed in kitchen hood. I think you are aware about fire suppression kitchen hood. So the, then we go with a fusible link heat detector. Parking garage as well, it's uh, suitable to provide with a fusible link heat detector. Storage area with a flammable material. 
boiler rooms and mechanical areas all of these are a special installations a special areas where we cannot install or is maybe uh, is not practical to go with a spot type heat detector then another types of heat detector can be applied there same as of the smoke detector there is a, a, a special or different ceiling types that may the distance will be different from ceiling to to other so what is the distances between the heat detector generally there is a listing spaces as well it's referred to in, in the case of the smoke detector is to be 9.1 meter uh, uh, in the smooth ceiling so whenever you have a smooth ceiling as we explained in lecture four and five in the smoke detector cases then uh, there is a distance is called listed distance this distance is about 9.1 meter between each each uh, heat detectors uh, general guideline for heat detectors spacing under the normal conditions please this is we are talking about normal conditions where we have a smooth ceiling in the fixed temperature this is referred by an fba uh, 72 uh, 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 distances for fixed temperature or rate of rise type of heat detector now in the partitions we follow as well the same case of the smoke detector where we explained already in the previous lecture so you please go refer to that uh, lectures it will have the same rule of 15 percent where to provide the heat detector in each partition or consider the area as a one space in this example i'm considering a standard height so remember the standard height of the installation of heat detector is maximum three meter now whenever you have more than this height there is another standard and another consideration in this room you can find in each room we have a heat or smoke whatever the type of the room then as in this room is a smooth ceiling provided with a normal or standard height then the distances shall be 9.1 meter then so we will be providing another heat detector for example or we'll have a two heat detector in this room to achieve the distances between the devices and whenever there is uh, there is a space to any corner or to any point on the ceiling it shall not exceed 0.7 of the listed distance between the devices which, which is 9.1 multiplied by 0.7 then we'll get a 6.4 or 6.3 as per the UEFI life safety code meter between uh, uh, the heat detector to any point on the ceiling in this case for example if we placed the heat detector here you need to ensure as we discussed the distance to any point on the ceiling is following the uh, distances between the heat detector or the listed distance firstly 9.1 between devices then 0.7 the distances to any point on the ceiling and in the room screenshots from UE fire life safety code of practice 2018 and as well NFBA 72 this is what we we have a rule following same as well uh, the smoke detector 0.7 uh, listed distance from the heat detector to any point on the ceiling and as well the spacing from the heat detector to the wall shall be maximum half of the distance between the devices please ensure while you uh, reviewing the heat detector standards to go to check the nfba 72 as well uefi life safety code 2018 chapter 8 as we said about the high ceiling there will be another uh, consideration uh, uh to apply and we cannot follow the listed distance of 9.1 so whenever the ceiling and then this table guys it's available in nfba 72 as well as it's available in uefi life safety code of practice so whenever the height of the ceiling is more than three meter what is the case see up to here is a three meter so whenever there is a height more than three meter then we need to multiply the listed spacing which is 9.1 meter by the uh, numbers you get from here so if you consider a ceiling height of 6.1 for example or up to 6.1 then we multiply the listed spacing by 0.64 to get the distances between the devices for the irregular uh, ceilings as we say any point any point on the on the ceiling shall not exceed 0.7 of the uh, listed spacing in this example it's a, a normal a room with a normal height or as a standard height up to three uh, meter then we will follow the standard listed spacing or distance between the heat detector which is 9.1 then here you apply from the wall as a, a 0.5 s and in this case the heat detector so the height is more than the standard height of three meters is up to 4.7 then we go back to the table and multiply the spacing 
listed the spacing with the, uh, let me say, a factor to reduce the spacing between the heat detectors. We have covered the heat detector types, uh, uh, spacing between the detectors, and other applications of the heat detector with the auxiliary rooms and the special rooms. Stay tuned for the next lectures by the platform of fire engineering and with me, Mohammed Lahman. Thank you so much.